everybody. Today we are going to talk about trills. Often when we think of trills, we think of just those fancy little ornaments at the end of a phrase or that decorate the end of a section of something like Mozart. But sometimes trills can be a lot more than that in music. And if you've studied trills with me, you've probably heard me say more times than you care to count that we want to think of repeatedly lifting our trill finger to keep lightness in the hand as opposed to repeatedly slamming our trill finger down into the fingerboard and then squeezing. And I know that this sounds like just a bunch of words, but we really do want to chase that feeling of lightness. And if we think of trills as just those fancy little decorations that only happen for a couple of seconds at the end of something like in a Mozart phrase, seems like that's not really a big deal. The trill didn't last for very long. Who cares how light that trill finger was feeling? I care because it's a really good habit to be in of keeping lightness in the hand, especially when trills become more than just a little decoration at the end of something. I'm currently working on the Infernal Fire Dance by Defia, and he uses trills to be the actual fire. They bring the drama, they bring the suspense in the music, and there are pages and pages of trills. And if you repeatedly slam that trill finger down into the fingerboard, by the end of the first page, you're gonna be in a lot of pain because we are squeezing and holding onto the instrument so forcefully. So we wanna keep that finger really, really light. Think of bouncing on, a, bouncing on a trampoline or just repeatedly lifting that finger up away, throwing the trill up into the air so that it keeps moving and keeps spinning. So I'm gonna play a little bit of this fire for you. dance they make the fire move and there is uh, an actual dancing melody that happens but it's these trills that bring the drama so I'm gonna go borrow a friend and we're gonna hear that dancing melody but then we're gonna hear how the fire actually brings the suspense to this dance and how important it is to really keep those fingers light so that the fire keeps dancing if the if the if we start to squeeze and the fingers start to get heavy and repeatedly slam into the fingerboard. We're gonna strangle our fire. And we're gonna lose the definition in the flames. We wanna keep that finger light. Hi everyone, this is my friend Luke. Luke is a violinist and a composer and he is gonna help me with the defia. He is going to play the melody. So he is going to be the people dancing around the fire. Go for it. More fire. more fire. We are the fire. So I'm going to give you eight measures of fire Beautiful. before you come in. Is that okay? Sure. Fantastic. Oh, do you have any advice on trills? Oh, trills. I hate trills myself. Um, the biggest thing is, is you can't do them really heavy, right? They're supposed to be super light, so your fingers have to just kind of springboard, bounce off the fingerboard. You can't, it, otherwise you get too grippy. If you get too grippy, uh, things don't sound as good as they should. So. Right. So we're going to keep our fingers light, yep. keep our fire moving. Keep our fire burning. Yes. <laughs> Trills. 
She's good at trash. Thank you.